Hello friends. Today's story is about a man who was a musician in his early life and became an astronomer in his later life. He was the one who discovered the planet Uranus. And do you know he had the largest telescope with him that he built on his own at that time. If you know who am I talking about and if you have heard the story of Caroline Herschel, you know that it is his, it is her brother William Herschel. He was born in Hanover, Germany in 1738. His father was a musician and William joined his father in his band. Later, while working as a concert manager in England, he did his very first astronomical observation. His notebooks has small entries about these observations. He observed the Venus, the eclipse of the moon, and many more things. And all these things are written in his notebooks. These were the first signs that Herschel was interested in astronomy and his future career in astronomy. Herschel developed love for astronomy after reading a book written by James Ferguson. His interest in astronomy grew more and more when he started began to make small telescopes. He was also interested in making his own mirrors out of glass lamps. And do you know who helped him? Yes, his sister Caroline Herschel. She helped him grinding and polishing hundreds of such mirrors. William began to keep a record of what he observed in the sky. His observations of the rings of Saturn are also written down. The moons of Jupiter, the markings of the moon, everything is written in his notebooks. He also observed the Orion Nebula, a big cloud of gas where the stars are born. And there are many, many such clouds present in our space. On March 13, 1781, he discovered what he first thought was a comet, but later he found out that it was a planet. Yes, I'm talking about Uranus. For his discovery, he was able, enabled as a member of the Royal Society and awarded an annual grant. The money from this helped him in giving up his career in music and concentrating completely on astronomy. William also published his observations, which tells that our sun and all the other planets are moving in the space. He found that our solar system is moving between the neighboring stars in the direction of one star named Lambda Hercules. Are you amazed? It is so interesting, right? That just by observations, observations of the sky from the earth, this person could tell so many things about the space. He also discovered two moons of Uranus, namely Titania and Oberon. He completed his largest telescope, which had a mirror of 1.2 meter diameter. After hard work of two complete years, he also discovered Saturn's 16th and 17th known moons. His telescope was the world's largest telescopes of over 50 years. So, after his telescope, after 50 years, still no one could make such big telescope. Besides the discovery of planets, moons and nebulas, he observed many stars and based on this, he tried to learn about the space and our own Milky Way galaxy. Being a self-taught astronomer, he made very important discoveries and contributions in the field of astronomy. After his death in 1822, he was honored lately by the astronomical community by naming a crater on the moon, named as Herschel. A crater on the Saturn's moon too and a crater on Mars. An asteroid and many such more honors are given to them. It is so amazing that some object in the sky is named after your name. 
The lesson we all have certainly learned from his life is keep learning, keep exploring and enjoy what you do. This is so amazing. You just have to observe the sky. You just have to observe your night sky, your day sky. Go in your window, your balcony, your terrace and just observe the sky. Observe the night sky. Write down what you have observed. Observe the moon, the stars around it. And it's so, so, so lovely to observe the night sky. Now it's time for a toy. As I thought William Herschel was a musician, let's make something related to music this time. Let's make a flute out of very simple material. We just need a straw piece. You need to cut the straw in such a way that one end of the straw looks like a sharpened pencil. Just flatten it out and blow. Fun, right? You can also try one more interesting thing. You can make different notes from it. As you would have observed, a bigger straw I mean bigger in length gives a different sound and a straw smaller in length gives you different frequency. The larger the straw, the smaller the frequency and the smaller the straw, higher the frequency. Great, right? And if you don't have straws as we should not use straws, you can use a small pepper strip. It can be used or it, I will say it should be a used piece so that we can save paper also. And just you can make a flute out of this piece. So what you want to do is just cut your paper strip in on one side in such a way that you are left with a small strip on one end like this cut it like this and a small piece should be left and then cut it again and just start rolling your paper when you finish rolling your paper your strip will remain like this on one side just fold it down so that it vibrates like a rib you can make it from a thinner strip of paper to make it smaller in height you can make different in different shapes and try to suck in air this time. You can see that the rib vibrates on the paper and the flute is played. You can enjoy playing different lengths, making different lengths and play with your flute. I hope you enjoyed the story, enjoyed the toy and as usual like, share and subscribe. Bye!